One of Minecraft's best known developers who was actually responsible for creating the Ether mod and of course the Warden has recently just came out and publicly announced on his Twitter that he'll be blocking anyone who is rude towards Minecraft game developers or game developers in general on Twitter. Now this announcement did cause quite a bit of backlash towards KB Dogs, with some people actually criticizing him saying that he's just trying to silence criticism or constructive feedback with others as well just saying that he can't handle the criticism that he's getting regarding the game which is poorly being developed at the moment. This resulted in inherently a massive back and forth between King B Dogs and many of the people trying to criticize him on Twitter and it was a very interesting spectacle to watch. So today we're going to be covering that news and answering the question of did King B Dogs do this to silence criticism and constructive feedback of Minecraft or was this actually a valid response towards the trolls on the internet? So let's get right into the news. So like I already said our news begins on Twitter and it begins with King B Dogs tweet now by saying heads up this is nothing personal but I will be blocking anyone who is rude to devs whether devs of Minecraft or devs of other games in the industry. Waste my time seeing that on my timeline. You can have your opinions but be nice. Now I would hope that those of you who are watching this video right now or who actually read this tweet when it came out and was posted by King B Dogs would agree with this statement in general. There is inherently nothing wrong with King B Dogs doing this. I think that actually blocking people that are rude towards developers or giving death threats or doing things like that or being threatening or just abusive, that is entirely fair. But there has to be a fine line of course because obviously we don't want to block out entirely just for criticism. Now there was a lot of responses to this tweet. Some people were obviously with King B Dogs. I myself was when I saw the tweet and there were some people that were obviously kind of in the middle ground but there was a lot of people that were just being just nothing less than rude towards this and obviously jumping to conclusions regarding this being obviously them trying to silence criticism. One of the many people that was actually not happy with this entire statement was someone called Ken J, random Twitter user from what I'm aware of course. They tweet back out King B Dogs by saying so you're willing to have an echo chamber because you can't handle the backlash from your own actions. Does this say good president for Minecraft that you will block anyone who you consider rude for whatever reason, including a distaste for your questionable work? Now from that sassy comment, I'll give KB Dogs his due. He responded back in the most mature and polite fashion that was actually available. And he responded back by saying to King J, dude, I am far from living in an echo chamber. I don't get any information from people calling Minecraft as lazy. This is just useless information that doesn't provide us with literally anything to improve on. I can and will discredit those comments as uninformed and move on. KB Dogs also followed up that tweet by saying, I'm a part of many Discord servers where people actively attack features and developers, so I'm not only in this echo chamber, I'm not unaware of what people think of certain features or an update, just don't care to destroy my mental health by seeing it all the time on Twitter. Another Twitter user by the name of Oversoul tweeted back at KB Dogs by saying, I hope you limit blocking to those who actually insult or threat you guys and not just when someone is saying something or saying anything negative about MC Dev's recent criticism. In the most sincere and non-harsh way I can say it, from our perspective, it comes off that Minecraft's recent work is due to, they made a second tweet which I'm going to read out now, laziness. Updates feel more like tiny minuscule changes with a lot of planned features that the players want or are excited for gets cut, even with a delay to an update. Not only that, the mom vote has been a terrible addition to how you guys decide things. King B Dogs responding back by saying, it's definitely not criticism, but my block button is easy to press when people call Minecraft developers lazy. That's uninformed and not useful, so I will not lose anything by blocking them. If they just say they don't like something or think it could be better, that's awesome. Someone by the name of Thick Beast then responded back to this tweet by saying, then actually explain how a single modder can develop a wild update mod in under two months without any game breaking bugs and more content than any of your updates have ever had. King B Dogs responding back by saying, before I joined Mojang, I was a modder for 10 years on Minecraft. I developed the Ether as well as many other mods. I have gone into detail about why game development takes longer many times, but at this point, I'd hope you just trust coming from a modder. Modding is far easier. Now, if you think that was the worst of it, there was actually a lot more than that, please be assured. Now, we're going to continue to read a few more tweets, but be aware some of these are just entirely out of order. Someone by the name of Star Angel tweeted back by saying, Furious, emotional, arrogant, and self important dev cells who can't take criticism, sobbing when people complain about broken promises, lies, laziness, and intentional changes that make the game worse. King B Dogs responding back by saying, Dude, I can take criticism literally no problem with that. I encourage you to rip apart my work with tact. Just don't attack devs on a personal level, either attacking their skill or their decisions because they ultimately aren't responsible for all the things you hate about the game. Now remember that person that we talked about at the beginning called Kinji? Well, they continuously kept tweeting back about this entire thing. They tweeted back again by saying, this sets a bad standard. So now all you will be hearing is the positive. So from your perspective, there is nothing bad and therefore y'all doing a good job, which you aren't. To be frank, and this is not to be rude, but come on, seriously, question mark. You have to resort to this. King B Dogs responded to that by saying, You're mistaking constructive feedback for being rude. I care if you don't like a feature or think.
think it could be improved in some way. Same with an update, but attacking devs directly, calling them lazy, posting memes about them working 30 minutes a day, yeah, that can be blocked. Someone by the name of Night Yoshi responded back by saying, I mean, memes about only working 30 minutes a day make me laugh. If you can't laugh at a meme about your profession, you might be unhappy and need a new profession. Tame Me Dogs responded back by saying, I mean, I did laugh when it was new. I literally memed on the meme by posting it in verbatim on my Twitter account. But when it was taken seriously that people literally think we work less than eight to 10 hours a day, I stopped laughing. Someone by the name of Helicars or Tom responding back to this tweet by saying, it's entirely possible to be critical without being rude. Teams such as the Minecraft dev team aren't an echo chamber and they will still find constructive feedback from people who are willing to put the time in to present it politely. Kinji then responded to this tweet by saying, sometimes being harsh is necessary. It's the only way people truly change their ways. Do you think they would have changed the dev process if they didn't receive the well-deserved backlash from the past year due to it? Being soft and polite doesn't always work. There is balance. Now, not only did English.exe start working for this individual all of a sudden when it came down to their third tweet, obviously regarding the entire situation, but King B Dogs did respond to it politely and said this. I think I would get a clear picture without people being asses about it. There is no excuse for harassing devs. I'm sorry, you need to understand that not every decision you dislike is made by developers alone. These are big companies and to blame devs is uninformed. But yeah, it was just a mess. A lot of people were just spamming hate towards them. There was this individual here by the name of Otra or Otro or whatever. They just kept spamming the exact same comment saying, you and Mojang are lazy with the, the random emoji, you know what I'm saying? They only care about money, dot you are useless. And it's stuff like this that is just not really necessary whatsoever. You know, you can dislike Mojang for how slowly they release updates or how they develop some things and whatnot. You can dislike that, like what he's already said. And you can give criticism towards that, but you don't have to be just outright rude and hateful towards them because you dislike certain features. I have publicly said many times myself personally, I don't like all the features that Mojang adds to the game and I don't like all the features that Mojang removes from the game or that Mojang hasn't added to the game. But at the end of the day, that's just what it is. And you can't exactly hate the developers for that because it's not always their decisions that make these things happen. Oftentimes, it can be the higher ups at big companies behind them, like Microsoft, that make this kind of stuff happen, not just Mojang or not just individual developers. But yeah, everybody, I just saw I'll cover this news because it was some related stuff that I thought was interesting to talk about. There was a lot of people talking about how that this is them um, cancelling criticism or this is them um, stopping criticism, which is the most absurd thing to say because like he's already stated multiple times in the tweets here, that is not the case whatsoever. He just simply doesn't want to have to deal with these hateful and degenerate people that are just going to continuously keep being just rude and hateful towards the Mojang developers. And I mean, for the majority of the people that are still watching this video right here, right now, can you honestly blame them? Would you not do the exact same thing, if not even sooner? Like this is absolutely out of order, honestly. There's a lot of people that are just being outright rude and disrespectful for no good reason other than the fact that they just want to be and they're just degenerate trolls. So on that mark, let it be and that's what it is. But yeah, everybody, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did go to enjoy it and you found it informative or interesting or useful or whatever you want to call it, please be sure to drop a like in the video. Be sure to subscribe to us reach our goal of 69,000 subscribers. It's obviously, of course, the funny number. We're now just past 60K. And thank you as always for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one, hopefully. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you all are. And yeah, everybody, peace out.